Hey. Um. I think that's that's the first time I've actually used the uh, the DOS boot up as a uh, as the actual countdown. I think it went well. I still got to figure out what I'm gonna do for music, but honestly, having like the the background music wasn't bad. You like that? Thanks. Thanks. Uh, well, howdy, Warder and Gadget and Kim and Tani. Hope y'all are doing well. Um, <laughs> I can't help it. I have to do it every time. Just the way it, it's just the way it works. Hello, Vivian. Uh, anyway, I hope you all are doing well. Um, it is... It is Wednesday, my dudes. Oh my god, I didn't even know. It's, you know, for a minute. Uh, <clears throat> that's pretty good. You have so many questions about the Jurassic Quack. Warder, I think we keep getting a lot of questions about Jurassic Quack that are answered by Jurassic Quack. <laughs> Perfect. Tawny, I love you, buddy. I love you so much. Ernie? Ernie, what are you doing? You nerd. Have you been humped or gotten over a hump? That's Kim. That's why we love Kim. You're a nerd, you nerd. Where's my button? I got a button for that. Reverse! Reverse! Yeah. Get reversed, a nerd. Anyway, uh, I'm going to keep working on the stuff that I was doing last night. I'm getting to a really good place. Um, I do want to have the co-working stuff in here, though. Um, and I think I'm going to end up modifying this here uh, so that we can uh, do like a, a walk, walk a path. Kim, I know, I already know what you're going to ask me and uh, I've been looking at my stuff. I'm actually redoing a bunch of my stuff right now because uh, a lot of it is very jank. And a lot of it is also like intertwined with all of my like personal shit. So I've got to redo my stuff. So I, before I package that up and send it to you. Oh, I'm, um, oh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Dang. I'm wrong. What is this? I don't think that's, it's not junk, but it's. Okay, uh, let's see. Hmm. Heck you, Viv. You don't even know. I'm gonna lift some code from Firebot. I wanna go look at uh, the custom variable manager. Tempted to move this out too. Heck you. How I did the quarter third thing? Oh, like the um. You mean like my title up there at the top? Or I guess if it's on this scene, the one that's over there. So mine is complicated. There is an easy way to do it, and there is a complicated way to do it. The complicated way to do it, let's switch back over to the DOS scene because I feel more comfy over there. So the complicated way to do it is I have this configuration file that has it stored in here as a piece of data, and it reads it from my shit. The easy way to do it is, in OBS, you can have a text source 
Um, Hello, Loaf. You can have a text source in OBS um, that reads from a file, and you can save it in a text file. So that's how a lot of it's done. But my stuff is my stuff is overly designed and overly complicated, so it doesn't work like that anymore. It used to on the other scene, unlike the black and white scene, the main scene. It used to. Fritz, hi, buddy. Thanks for the lurk. Um, so it used to work like that over there, but basically you just tell OBS to load it from a text file rather than a, uh, um, like just having a static something in OBS that you have to edit every time. You could also do stuff to where if you really want to have it set up in Firebot to where you're going to have it detect when your title changes on Twitch or you can pull it from it when in the broadcast starts, you can write it to that file so that OBS does it, and any time you change the title, it changes it in OB it changes in the file, which means OBS gets it. It's it's this whole it's this whole goddamn thing. My shit is so complicated. But it works. I'll be goddamned if it doesn't work. Um so here's Here's what I want to do. Um, no. Index. Oh, I guess I can. If it includes a period. We have to go through this whole fucking thing. You're fine, Kim. You're not you're not bothering I don't give a shit. I'm I'm just doing, you know I'm doing hot girl shit and What are you doing? Being a kitty? Kitty cat? I love you. You want me here? Come here. You're just gonna sit in the hallway and look at me? Real hot girl shit, that's right. That's the loaf. She's just a baby. She's just a baby. Just a baby. She's the best baby. Um, all right, let's see. So, what on, does she know how baby she is? She absolutely knows how baby she is. This morning when Bean left for work, Bean walks out of the garage. Apparently, Loaf followed her to the door, the, the garage door in the laundry room. And Bean hadn't even pulled out of the garage yet. And downstairs, I can, I'm laying in bed and I can hear, meow, meow, meow. I'm like, oh my God. Like Bean had literally not even left yet. What are you doing, kitty baby? Oh, she just a baby. Yeah, she, she missed her Bean this morning. And so usually when that happens, when she yells for Bean after Bean leaves for work, I will yell from bed and I'll go, love. And she will vroom, up the stairs. She will come get up in bed and get some pets and do some purpers. And then a lot of times she'll just lay down with me in bed. We'll just, we'll just stay in bed together until it's time to get up for brekkies. All right, baby. She loves to snow. Number one cuddle cat. Just loves to be snuggly. Got to restart. Okay. Um, all right. So now what I need to do is. Do I have to answer to. Why is Loaf the best Loaf? Oh, because she's the most perfect, precious angel kitten baby. That's why. That's you, baby. That's you. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Girl, oh, so many snuggles when when they just snuggle like they nuzzle their head up into your hand. That's just that's the best. That's how you know it's real kitty love. That's real. No kisses. Oh, she's being snuggly. There's good snuggles. Snuggly cat. That's my loaf. 
She's the best one. Love that loaf. Uh, but you would die for loaf? I hope she knows this. Bernie says she would die for you, which is an acceptable sacrifice, I, I think. You're worth it. Oh, she's doing very squinty eyes. She accepts your sacrifice. That's your sweet girl. Yeah, I know. I know. That's my sweet baby. Oh, there's a baby kitty. Ah. <sighs> Correct. Correct, Bernie. Ah. I have like a little something on my eye. Ooh, I just pulled an, a decent eye boogie off. Ugh. Just right there on my eyelashes. Okay, there we go. All right, so what I want to do is I want to do like a dot notation thing where we walk the property. So like if I want to edit in here, right now it only supports like editing these top level properties. I want to go be able to like dig in if I just want to edit like the default message of the news bar, then I can, I'll be able to do that. So what I need to do is, um, go tokens equals property dot split on the period so that we get that all to do um and then i guess i could just do this anyway and then i could just do that that's fine yeah. Then we come back over here and we do property path. Okay. We have like a a cursor, okay. I see. So we do this for loop here. So let's go uh ah. Four and x equals zero. X is less than property to. Oh, tokens dot length. Boy, I was I was trying to C sharp that real good. Okay, so we will go through the entire like length of this list. Let's call this cursor. Open. Oh. Then we'll go cursor equals cursor X. I can never decide whether I want X or I, but I fucking I figure it out. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So X equals zero. X is less than the link. That's plus plus. Um, I think that's fine. Cursor equals value. I'm wondering if this will work. So basically what I do is I get the property. If it has a period in it, I know I want to split it. Um,
const token equals property tokens x if token Hmm. Wandered off too. He's doing loaf stuff. Very important. This is very, very important loaf stuff. He's kitten's cat. Um. Here. First for equals. Oh, you know what I'm going to be able to do? I can make this, I can make this easier. So, we get the token, and then we see if it's a number. If it actually is a number, then we... Yeah, okay. So if it is a number, we use the number. If it's not a number, then we just use the token. A regular token, like the named token. And then we get down here. What I would like to do is test this in like a JS fiddle or something. So let's make a new one real quick. So let's go we can make file contents like thing nested thing value fine I think that works Looking weird. Tidy it up. There we go. Okay, that's what, why. Oh, because it doesn't. Because I'm trying to do TypeScript there. Uh, language TypeScript. There we go. Now you're not angry. Okay, so if it's fine, fine, fine. Let's go. Uh, const property equals thing dot nested thing. Let's go. Console dot log. And let's look go let's go console.log see what happens so what i want to do is we'll do uh, the value equals um new value run it and OK. 
Okay. Hmm. What is this control enter? Oh, you know what it may be? It may be because I've oversimplified it and now it's become like a... Yeah. Okay, okay. So I have to not get the last item. If... X is not equal to X minus one. If X is less than that, then we'll do that. So we'll do this. Let's put this here. Now let's run it and see what happens. Huh. All right, we're getting closer, I think. Oh, okay. And then we come in here. We go. Your token equals value. That's what we have to do. So what happens is we keep moving the cursor down to the like the last object or whatever. And then we take the token. And then we set it there. So that should be fine. Come here, put this in, tidy it up. There we go, that's better. There we go, okay. That's good. So we can We can log it once before and once after to the console. Yep, okay, that's good. Um, I wonder now if I can add in some stuff to Ah. Man, I gotta put in fucking ES Lint in here, because this is just... Boy, it's not pretty. I gotta fix that. All right, let's let's do this again. Whoa. 
Let's reopen this and see what this looks like. Oh, blessed. Oh, four spaces. Four spaces. Absolutely fantastic. I'm that's I gotta clean that up too. Um Alright, so now we'll go in here and if cursor is null. Oh no, I can't do that. I can't do that yet. Um So, we get our cursor and we start at the beginning of the file. We come through here the first time. Uh, as long, if we check and see if the token is nothing, if it is, we create an empty object there so that we can, like, iterate down into it. Um, let's just copy this whole thing. Put it in the JS fiddle. Add it up. All right. Uh, perfect. Okay, so that's working so far. Now let's go. Thing. Yet another. So this should create like a cascade down. Do the console, run it, and, and okay. Then we'll put this up here. Let's do this. We'll say token equals Okay. Okay. So here's what we do. Come in, get the token. If it's numeric, we'll make the token the number versus the actual text version. We check inside the cursor, which at this point is the root. And if there's nothing there, we make that an object. Then we come down here. If it's not the last thing, then the cursor becomes that next next ad, nested object otherwise we just set the value on it and we just keep on trucking all right so let's replace the for loop in here tidy it up and run it and still doesn't like it Maybe, uh, has plus 10 years of experience in a 9 to 5. It's usually the next step that they work for themselves, still work 9 to 5, and for themselves. Uh, first of all, welcome in, Roth. Uh, second, it depends on what you want to do. Um, for me, I'm, I decided to start working for myself because it's what I want to do, and it's kind of the combination of, yes, I still get to do the technical where I'm writing code, but I also get some of the management aspect where I'm managing a business, which I enjoy, and I've done before. Um, I've been a, I've been a 
individual contributor. I've been a people manager. Uh, I've kind of been all over the place. And for me, I like the mix. Um, I need to have a little bit of the mix. That's why I code as a hobby because it, you know, keeps my skills sharp and it's my sort of my creative outlet. Um, I, uh, I would say you really have to do what you think is best for you. Um, if you, if you think that you can, one, that you have the financial cushion, two, you have the professional network and three, the potential to get, um, uh, enough work to pay the bills or be comfortable or whatever you want to do, whatever you want to accomplish, then work for yourself, do it. Um, it is a lot of work. But the payoff can be much bigger, and that's not just a money thing. For me, it's not about the money. For me, it's about the freedom to do what I want, make my own schedule, make my own rules. Um, if you decide to continue working the 9 to 5 to have that, that sure thing, and also for yourself, be careful. Make sure that um, you don't do anything for your side gig, on company time, on company equipment, either one. Don't do it on company time. Don't do it on the nine to five time. Don't do it on the nine to five equipment at all. Using any of the nine to five tools, none of it. Keep it separate because the minute you start to mix it up and something say, for whatever reason, you make it big or whatever, um, or even if they just want to, the nine to five can come and say, you built that on our stuff. We own that now. They can take that IP away from you. They can take your intellectual property away from you. So keep it fully separated. Um, I have also replaced people in IT departments before that were doing their side hustle during the nine to five hours and they got fired for it because they weren't doing the job. They were getting them, they were essentially getting double paid because they were slacking off on the nine to five and doing the side gig. Keep it all separate. Now that can create even more work because you're doing both. You're managing a full-time job and you're also managing a business. So you have to decide for yourself if that's a thing that you really want to do. Um, it's a lot of work just to manage the business on its own, but there is the peace of mind that if you have the nine to five, you still have a steady paycheck coming in. So Figure out what you're most comfortable with, and I'd say go from there. All right, let's come down here and put this down here. You got it. You got it. The advice that I always give anybody is you have to do what is best for you. You have to take care of your needs first and foremost. No matter who else you have to take care of, your needs have to be met first and foremost because if you're not meeting your own needs, you're not going to be able to take care of other people. So make sure whatever you do is the thing that you truly feel is best for you. Consulting company since I'm in your own hardware. You get dedicated. Yeah, that's also true too. That's also true. Also, hi Vi. Yeah, you own the sales, the tax, the scheduling, all of that stuff. Yeah, like Gadget said, all of that stuff becomes your problem. That's that's all part of the stuff that you have to manage with the business. Um, you are like, you are accounting, you are sales, you are marketing, you are the development team, you are everything. If that's a challenge that you're willing to take on, great, go for it, go for it. If that's not something that you're willing to do, to do all of that, I'd say stick with the nine to five and then start dipping your toes into side stuff. Or if you're just like, you know what? I'm, I'm kind of happy doing what I'm doing. Stick with the nine to five. That way you do work for somebody else, let them manage all the business stuff, and then you can sit there and do whatever you want on your time. So there you go. Hope this helps, genuinely.
All right, we're going to do this. I think this actually should work better. Let's go in back inside the for loop here. All right, that almost worked. Oh, I know why. Because there's not actually, there's already an existing property there. So here's what I'm going to do. Let's do different nested thing, because that's going to be different. Okay, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. have a better idea. Um, All right, so here's what we do now. If it's nothing, or if it's not an object, or if it's not an array, uh, we're going to come down here and do this. Uh, Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's, no, we can do this. We can do it this way. Uh, man, I don't think I'm gonna get to that. Okay, I think I'm just, I think I'm overcomplicating this. Because for this, I'm not gonna like splice out shit in an array. So I'm just going to go like this. Yeah, we're just going to do it like this. I don't I don't think I'm going to do this. Um I think that's fine. All right. We're just going to do it by named properties. I'm not going to do the whole numeric thing for arrays. That's just, that's, that's too much. And I'm not, I'm probably not never going to use it. So soup for lunch. Ooh, I had, uh, I had ramen for breakfast as, as is tradition. Um, all right, let's go back here. I copied the entire for loop I did. Fine. All right.
Well, it's... Well, that works. I mean, it works. I love my ramen for breakfast. The thing, too, is an object. Oh, man, this makes me want to... No, no, Viv, that's work. I dump the I dump the noodles into the water, let it boil, put the seasoning in, stir it up, and turn it off, and then I put it in a bowl because the, I can't be asked to do an egg at breakfast when I'm that sleepy. That's just I'm so tired. I'm number one sleepy bear. And right, that's coming back as undefined. So let's figure out what we're doing here. All right. The first time we come through here, we get the properties, and we have get our token, which is the next thing in our list. Actually, I'm just going to take that out, too, because it doesn't matter. I don't need that either. I know it's a string. Yep. Thanks, Viv. Uh, so... We get our token. If we're not on the last one, check to see if it's null, nullish, or if it's not an object. If it's neither one, we make it an object. We set the cursor to the new thing, and then we keep going around, right? Like that's what should happen. Also log. So if I'm setting this up as an object. Let's go back to the Firebot code and see what's happening here. Oh. 
Oh, that's what I want. That's what I'm doing wrong. Am I getting ahead of myself here? Oh, there's pig step. I can love pig step. Pig step is great. Oh yeah. Um Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm using a cursor, but it doesn't matter because... Yeah. Circular object. That's what I'm doing wrong. So I'm making like some circular fucking reference somehow. Hi, kitty. In your... D I know. I know. I decided to do a little daytime stream today. I won't be around too, too long, but I wanted to get this thing done. I'm trying to figure out my logic here. It's just... I am... Uh, my logic is not logicing very well. Brain no work so good. the weather by toilet paper and bought brownies because you deserve it you goddamn right you deserve it and you forgot that that what you listen it's fine just shower it'll be fine yeah there you go see you'll be fine oh well then yeah then you're good um, tattoo time tomorrow. Nice, nice. All right, let's start from the top here. I don't really care so much about this anymore. Why don't we start here? One step closer to become a literal Gerard Way shrine. As you do, as you do.
Ah. Ah. Alright, let's start at the top. All right. Thing. Okay. Huh. Boy, I'm, uh... I fucked this all up. Oh, I'm just... Stop that. I'm just fucking things all up. Come back over to this and see how we do it. Cursor. Sure, yeah. The node is the yeah. Okay. I just copy paste and HTML CSS. Not so I feel like, yeah. It's just. To figure out like it says it's a circular object, but I'm trying to figure out how how that's happening. I'm I'm gonna do something really dumb, really ridiculous. No, that's not gonna work. Okay. All right, let's let's back up a second. We have this object. We set this to the object. It's a ref. Okay. We come in here, we get our property tokens. We go through the list. Current token is this whatever value we're on. Okay. The first thing, if it's null or if it's not an object, we set it to an empty object. Then we set the cursor to that thing so that it, the next thing to, around it'll do its thing. And we keep doing this until we get to the very end, at which point we set the value.
I start? Alright. Log the file contents. This is an object. We get the cursor. Uh, you know what I think it is? You know what I think it is? No, it comes back as an object. No, I don't think it, no. I'm going to move this. I'm going to move this back up. Let's tidy this up. We good? Okay. Do I have too many? Did I add an extra one in there that I didn't need? Ah. Tidy. There we go. Boy, I am just, I am struggling with this today. All right, I'm gonna, let's go in the console here. Let's go, let thing, or let, let file contents. All right, so we have 
file contents with a thing and a nested thing. Right? Now, we're going to go let cursor equal file contents. Okay? Cursor is this. Now, let's go cursor equals cursor thing. Okay? Uh, type of cursor is object. Great. Then we go down here and we keep going. Now, let's go cursor plus cursor other or thing to. Okay. Now let's look at file contents. Oh, wait. Okay. Cursor thing two. Okay. Thing two. Okay. Thing two. Okay. What am I doing wrong? Let's back this up. Ah. Uh. I mean, I think this is... That doesn't make any sense so. Thing, not thing, to nothing. We want new value to be there. I don't care what the type of it is at this point. In fact, I just let's get out of there. I'm just going to put the whole for loop in here. Oh, that's not. 
Okay. Do I have my fucking stuff nested wrong in here? No. All right, let's take the whole if statement. Put it here. Yes, correct. Okay, thank you. Run it. Not that. All right, eh? All right, right here. That's the cursor. That's the file contents. That's the cursor. That's the cursor. That's. I do not understand. Uh, uh, Jeffy, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, welcome in. I'm working on. So I have a stream admin tool that I have that does a lot of stuff for me here on the stream. Uh, like my news bar. If you look at the bottom of the status bar down here on the scene. You'll see that will change. Um, so it's got a lot of stuff here. Um, but this just helps me control all the stuff on my stream. Things like the lights, um, stuff like that. So just a bunch of different things. And I'm trying to do a little bit of logic here, but man, it is just really escaping me. Is the console? Okay, let's see. I have file contents. That's okay. Why is it working in pure JavaScript but not in TypeScript? TypeScript, what the actual fuck? Let's try something else. Oh. Maybe missing after argument list. Oh, that's, yep.
time or Oh, because you want it in, I bet you want it in quotes, don't you? So, okay, no, that's fine. And there it is, working in pure JavaScript, but for some reason not in TypeScript. Like, I don't even know. I have no idea. I wonder if it, is it the fiddle that's doing it? Like, is it, I wonder if it's just something weird with the fiddle? It works and I don't know why. But it doesn't work over here and I don't know why. Every developer sometimes, that's... God, that's the fucking truth. You're just not showing it to me. Is that is that what's happening? Am I have I been If it's been working this son of a bitch. It's been working this whole goddamn time. It just didn't expand it out. God damn it, console. Alright. Then that's fine, then this works. Then it works. It works. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. I'm happy. I'm happy with that now. Now that I know that it actually works. Ah. Uh, what the fuck? Okay. I'm... God, that irritated me. So it was working, it just looked like it wasn't. Alright, well, now that that's... Now that that mystery is solved... Um... Oh, I need to change that from Mastodon to...
I think that's what it is. Is that what it is? Nope. Yep. Okay, that's fixed. Oh. Still gotta work on Wisty Subsound at some point. That's on my list of never ending list of shit that I need to, to finish. Um, okay. This is good. So now I want probably oh, just fine. I want this to be up here. I want this to uh wait. Oh, I'm gonna have to do the same thing here. Because I want to do the same thing, so... Alright. That cursor... Nope. Okay, I'll put a cursor here. Uh, constant property tokens is split. We go through here. Here, here's a fun question. Play the console. Go thing equals that. Ice Bear needs it for everyday hustling. Script Warrior, what's up, buddy? How are you, pal? But thank you for 22 fucking months. Holy shit. And thanks, buddy. I appreciate you. I hope you're doing all right. I'm doing pretty good. Um, JavaScript is annoying me, but you know what else is new. Um, but I'm hope you. I hope you're doing well. It's still, still technically an object. Got it. Living in the clouds, man. I hear you. I hear you. I'm. Uh, I'm really I'm waiting on Microsoft to drop a new service into public preview. They've got their new code signing thing, which I want to take a look at. And see if it's something that we can use for Firebot because that would be really great. That would be a great solution for us to be able to like quickly sign new builds as we build them. But it's still in private preview and they said they're not anybody else until the public preview comes out early part of calendar year this year, so we'll see when that happens. It's the end of January, so just waiting. 
Ah, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Um... And cursor tokens not equal to null. Then else turn. So let's see here. Our properties. Now let's go back to the JS fiddle, where I'm going to get mad at it again. As is tradition. I guess I don't even need the any on there because what the hell, why not? Um, really, I guess I just need to change the if here. Did I? What in the hell? Oh, 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 yeah, no, that's right. Tidy. Why won't you tidy? What don't you like? Hmm. All right, well, you know what? Where's the return statement? Oh. All right. Try this. All right, that didn't work. Nope. Or didn't. I don't care about this. I don't care about any of this. I don't care about the value anymore. Why won't you tidy? What the hell?
Oh. Oh, this still has the old shit in it. Boy, you just hate me, don't you think? They're all in there. Sure. Okay. What are we fighting here? Uh, just my brain, just trying to logic out stuff. No, it's getting in the loop. It's getting in the loop, I'm just... Oh, I know why. I don't need this. I don't need any of that. Right? Yeah, I don't need any of that. Always fighting the code, it's true. It's true. Oh, 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 that's oops. Fixed it. I, I fixed it. It's fine. There we go. Okay. I fixed it. Good. We're good. All right. Perfect. Now that I've gotten that done, I can come down here to where I was working on the... Yep. There we go. Got it. See you later, buddy. Thank you again for the sub, and it's good to see you. We gotta, we gotta talk soon. Dig it. All right.
This is going to be... Do I want to make this an array or do I want to make this named? Uh, we have I think we're going to do this like this, yeah. Um Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to have it send like this, and we're going to have... Yeah, that'll work. I think that's fine. Enable the shade. Okay, so build a new version of this. What are we doing down here? Built, copy, done. Delete, add, save. Okay, that has started back up. Beautiful. Um, yeah. Okay. Perfect. That's good. I like that. And when we have the new ones, cowork messages and enable cowork shade. Oh. Okay. There we go. Perfect. That'll be good. Let's do one more build. Delete and re add it. Perfect. Okay. So those, that's good. And
Okay, we're running good. Now, oh, co work set up. Perfect. Now, what's the. What's it look like right now? I don't have it on this scene. Well, let's go back to go back to the DOS scene. Beautiful. All right. Now that we have the back end bit set up. Go to the page. That could work shade. All right. Once URL equals and then root URL slash able co work shade. My foot need a scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. Oh man, itchy. Ah, scratchy, scratchy. <clears throat> All right. Um, const quest equals. Value cons equals await beautiful if on start okay. Work aid state. Okay, that's good. If response that okay, take all this, move it up here. On status equals await our response dot. I think that works because that should just be a true or false. Um. I don't like Okay. 
Good. Now we'll come up here. Just the messages, right? Yeah. Response response equals await fetch URL. If response dot okay. Else. Uh, Okay. Hmm. Oh, wait. Const work setup equals oh, wait. Const.json. Yep. I think I'm gonna have, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Yep. Okay, that's good. I like that. Happy with that. Hmm. Okay. Hi, it's me, Stan. Oh, hi. Hello, Stanley. Go. Hi, Blacku. Uh, I'm using, I believe I'm using um, um, Cascadia code. Yep, I'm using Cascadia code. Um, I think it's the default in VS Code. Um, it's the one that Microsoft made a few years ago for um, they might have console as the default, but I think they switched over to Cascadia code as the default. Um, they built it for the new terminal that they put out a couple of years ago, and I really, really like it. In fact, uh, I like it so much that on Chocolatey, you can install Unity, find packages. I understand. I accept. If you look up the Cascadia code fonts on Chocolatey, uh, I actually maintain these packages. Um, they haven't had a, a release in a while. Um, but this is by that DOS VJ font. Nice, Warder. Nice. Hi, Dennis. Uh, but yeah, Cascadia code's what I use. Um, they have a couple of variants. Um, they have Cascadia code and they have Cascadia mono, which is the same thing, but without all the ligatures. So like the fancy stuff, like, um, like if I were to do like an arrow like that, it does it separate it. it the mono doesn't like connect them like that. Um, the mono version doesn't. So. Uh, but you can install them, all of them from Chocolatey. There is the Cascadia font family package. Um, it's just called Cascadia fonts. If you install that with Chocolatey, you'll get them all. So, yeah. 
But yeah, Cascadia Code. That's the one I use, and I like it very, very much. I like the look of it. I like the ligatures. I like all kinds of stuff. You broke React U state? I don't know what to tell you, bud. I don't know what to tell you. You gotta... Dennis, have you considered not doing that? That's an error. That's an error. That's an error. I don't know. So I knew not how not to do it. That's fair. Hmm. Yeah, chocolate is nice. Uh, Warder, have you ever used Winget, the new one, that uh, the Microsoft one? It's pretty good too. Um. He's win get. Very, very, very nice. A lot of stuff that's already on there. And the package sources is uh, open source. So if you go to win get CLI, this is the package for the actual CLI. If you want to go to the packages, there's a community repo, win get dash PKGS. And inside of I think it's in manifests. Yeah. Are all the packages. So like, I don't know. For example, you go and you want to install Google Chrome for whatever reason, there's stuff in here for it. And, um, but Winget is, Winget is very, very good. Oh yeah. Yeah. Winget's good for a lot of the internal tooling that Microsoft has. But yeah, it's all open source, the package source, so. I mean, the whole thing is. So it's very, very nice. Um, but yeah, Chocolatey and Wind are my two that I really like. And it's kind of pretty good. from Final Fantasy 13 apparently. Good, I like this. Uh, all right, let's keep on a truckin'. Making your whole UI and starting over at this point. And whatever you gotta do, bud. Whatever you gotta do. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's good. What don't you like? What are you mad at? Oh, that, yep, that makes sense. Okay. Now what are you mad at? Oh. Okay, it's fine. I fixed it. It's fine. Fine. I fixed it.
Mm. You know? Mm. Yeah, that is good for stuff like server core. I haven't used server core in a hot minute. Mm. I wonder if Hyper-V server is still a thing. Is it, Taxi? Um... Yeah, I used uh I used Hyper V server uh a while back to consolidate some stuff onto a box that I had that like the box wasn't doing anything. It was a nice box. It just wasn't doing anything. It was just sitting there. This was back when I was working at a construction company. And uh I'm like, well I gotta do something with this box. And so I took some of the old shit that was in there, wiped the the nice server that just wasn't doing anything installed Hyper-V server on it and just spun up a couple of VMs and used the licenses that I already had for the shit that I had, just made up VMs for it instead, and it's just like, done. What's Proxmox? Proxmox. What's that? Oh... Uh... Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. If I'm on Linux and I'm doing virtual stuff, I'm never doing anything heavy duty, so I'll just use like VirtualBox. It's BSD based, don't you? Yeah, like if I'm doing stuff like I'm on Windows, so if I'm doing like virtualization stuff on Windows, I'm using Hyper-V, it's just like what I'm doing. Um, but if I'm doing like low touch stuff or if I really just don't want to install Hyper-V for whatever reason, or if I'm on Linux or whatever, uh, I'm, I'm using VirtualBox most likely. Just because I don't want to fuck with anything else. Uh, all right, well, that's undefined. All right, let's no coalesce that. There we go. Oh, I didn't like that. Repence. Ooh, okay. Now to go see if it... <gasps> hey, my thing worked. My little whoozy whatsy majig worked. Uh, hmm. Well, that almost worked. All right, that that didn't work. You know, all kinds of listen, man. Like, I used to have all kinds of shit in my home lab, and then. I was like, you know, I'm I'm too old for this shit now, and I don't need all of it, and so I severely pared it down. Besides, I got this thing that's running Hyper-V. That's most of what I need. Yeah, it does. It really does. Alright, let's come back to... Um, 
Cowork.messages. Okay. <clears throat> the read is not working well. Wait, I no, Miss Ellie, I absolutely wouldn't. I would I in fact expected you to be here. Frankly, you're late and I'm gonna dock you for it. You're getting a tardy note and you're being sent to the principal's office. The principal is Tom. He smells like potatoes, beware. It is on your main laptop. Yeah, that's that's fair, Dennis. That's fair. Okay, so this this part is working. The reading isn't working. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay, that's not coming back because it's... So I do need this. There we go. Got a day and a half with the wee bobbies. I taste. Ooh, five! Jesus Christ, that's a lot of teeth. Okay. Uh, let's go and. Rebuild it. We get this ready to reload. Almost a full set already, and we're not far off 14 months. Good gravy. That's a lot of chompers. Okay. Now let's see if my. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Get her full set till 18 months. Jeez. Oh my god, what is in my eye? Okay, I'm good. Like a stray hair. I just launched that fucking website two years ago. Anyway, sorry, I got distracted by an email. You ever get an email? I got an email once. I don't recommend it. Three out of four possible slots to grow up too damn fast. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I've been... We've been lamenting over that with the wee toddler niece. They do, in fact, grow up extremely quickly. All right. Um, yeah, that's fair. I might do a refresh button there. 
uh, just to have one, like I do in some of the other places. Um, where's the work set up? Uh, let's duplicate that. Crash. Crash. Yeah, I crash. Yeah, that'll work. That button have an ID on it? it? Does not. That's fine. I don't care. Mm, those are. There's a Family Guy or Simpsons shorts with the other being Subway Surfers gameplay. That's <laughs> nice. I guess she's four? Good gravy. That's... Nope, that's not allowed. That's... That's illegal. She's grown up too fast. Not allowed. Um, okay. Now, the next part is... We have to update... The... <clears throat> All right, now so this is check co work set up. Uh, I see. This is all part of the same thing. It makes sense. Let's go. Let wait. That's fine. URL equal. Uh, co work. Which is. That's what it is, right? Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, that's fine. You'll be in 13 days. In that regard, your birthday and the day after is Valentine's. Oof. He'll be fine. He's a good Louie. And thorough. Equal await fetch. Well. If response dot okay. I'll just take all this shit and dump it in here. Uh, nope. Yep. Okay. You'll be 27 in two weeks? Oh, you're just a baby. You're just, you, you're just a wee bobby yourself. Uh, all right, go. Date response. Uh, Jason. Um. He's not even twenty five. I mean, okay. He's 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 a Bobby, but he's not he's not we by any stretch of the imagination. As we all are painfully aware, he is exactly one Louis Tall. Uh that works. I think we can just do this. I think that's fine. 
The only place we're using that, well then we'll just move this down here. Uh oh. You would have it no other way. I know. I know you wouldn't. Okay. Beautiful. Now we'll go. Uh, URL equals. Table co-work shade. Uh, go. Fonts equals await. Fetch this URL. Then if response dot okay. It's so catchy. Uh, this is um, a remix of One Winged Angel from uh, Final Fantasy VII. You know, I thought you were an adult, and I consider 25 to still be a child. Sexy buddy, I'm I'm 38, and I'm holding on. I'm holding on to my... I don't know. I just... I don't want to adult. I do just don't want to adult. You uh, consider yourself, yeah, I mean, 25 is still young, uh, 27, whatever, 25 is the year that I, uh, I aged about 10 years that year, that was, 25 was probably my worst year, the one that I am most ashamed of, I had some, I had learned some unnecessarily hard lessons that year, but it is what it is. Louis is probably the reason why it's so easy to seems normal. Well, Louis is Louis. That's that's Louis is Louis. He's also Scottish, so you know. He's got that going for him, which is nice. Uh, all right. Well, that seems like it works. Um, I guess I could put the co-work stuff on here, right? Where's the co-work thing? Why would I put co-working here? And not unlike the base overlay. Base overlay is Firebot, sound alerts. And, okay, I mean, friggin', I guess. All right, let's go back to this one for a second. Do you think you aged at bare minimum of a decade? Yeah, yeah, that was my that was my twenty five. Your mind feels ninety. Your body the same. My body doesn't feel that old, but my mind does. All right. Let's see what we got here. Get this out of the way. Uh, let's go here. 
Okay, co work set up. Set in the shade. Shades on. Shades off. Good. There's the heart. Put the heart there. New Mammon tools, music, please. Okay, cool. All right. Oh yeah, pretty uh, pretty much the same. I am just an overgrown child. I am very much an overgrown child. Pull the shade. Okay, so that now works, uh, which means I can go into variable inspector. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. I have taken out a lot of my custom variables that I was using as like configuration data, which is nice. Yeah, well, Texi, you know what? A lot of people's parents are got things wrong, so this happened to your body the last couple months. Oh, yeah. Nope. I don't think that's true at all, Ellie. I don't think that's true at all. It is just. Sometimes, sometimes terrible things happen and there really is no reason for it. Just as sometimes, just sometimes bad shit happens and we just have to do as best we can to move forward. I don't even know what this sound is. What is this sound? What are you doing? I don't know. Okay. The root data path is good. Um, the news bar loop, BRB, BRB stuff is good. And current news bar item is fine. That's actually, that's good. I want that. The last chatter was from the DOS scene or the boot scene. The news bar config that's currently running right now. Coin count will reset. Skip next stream. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Physically touch. I'm. I I can only imagine. I can only imagine. I'm so sorry. I I can't even say that I understand because, no, I don't. The skip status is the only thing left that uses custom variables. Everything else is now in the config file. Everything else is... in here. I'm really enjoying that this is coming together. Like, I'm super, super happy about this. I love this so much. Um, okay, so then the next thing is... Uh, now we have one for skipping the stream. All right. That's, that's not, you know, the thing that I told Louis, um,
the thing that I told Louis about it is it's like a we look out for our own, right? Um I'm I am and I'm sure you and Louis especially, uh especially considering the way his parents have always just been terrible. Um, I'm a huge proponent of found family. Um and something that I have always been, sometimes to a fault, uh, very much guilty of is I will, my people, when I have my people, I will defend them with every ounce of strength that I have. I take care of my people because that's just what I do. That's the kind of person that I am. I'm just, I'm a caregiver. I I, I don't feel like I'm doing... I don't feel like I'm doing everything that I could be doing right or fulfilled or whatever uh, unless I'm taking care of someone. That's just the way I am. Um, and, you know, there are... Obviously, I have to have certain priorities. Um, like, bean and loaf have to come first. That's just... That's just the way it is. Um, but for my friends, I uh, my friends are my found family, and they have always mm, like that kind of relationship has always been stronger for me than my actual blood um, family, my blood relatives. Don't get me wrong. I I love my 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 actual relatives. I do. Um, I've had my issues with them. Everybody's got issues that happens. It's just human nature. Um, but the uh, my my people will always be the most important to me. Um, so. It's not, there's, there's nothing to repay. That's just, we look after our own. We take care of our own. That's what we do. And that's just, that's just the way it is. So, and yeah, Fritz, that's, that's a good way to put it. And that's a very good way to put it. And, I believe it's correct, and that's all we can ask. Yeah, that's that's all I'm trying to do. I I have made a lot of mistakes in the past. I'm you know, I'm not always I'm not always I'm a lot different now than I used to be. Um and uh I, all I ever do is I just, I am just trying to do the best that I can. I'm just trying to do what I think is right. Um, and that's, that's all any of us can do. That's all any of us can do is just try to do the right thing. Um, what we feel is right, what we feel is right for the people around us, for the people close to us. Um, and... That's it. Is this fucking Christmas music? No. Absolutely not. Get out. Get out. Anyway, sorry. Um But yeah, that's that's all we can do is just try to be the best kind of people that we can for someone like me who is putting myself out here like this. Um, I feel like there's a greater sense of responsibility. Not only do I need to do what I think is right, but I need to be an example for other people um, because there are people out here watching me and like, you know, like literally watching me inside this little box. And so um, I need to make sure that 
whatever I do is a, I'm setting a good example for people because I never know who all's watching. I always know some of the people who's watching, but I never know all of the people. I never can. It's just, that's the nature of being on the internet. So, I just, I try to do, I try my best to do what's right by other people, best I can. So. Okay. Let's get back to technical stuff. Um... Say something real quick. Sorry, I just got a little something I want to take a look at real quick while I'm thinking about it. Vegeta, no! Vegeta, yes! God damn it, Lockhart. What? Frickin' what? God. I hate you. I can't wait to have dinner next week. Okay, sorry. I just uh something I need to look at real quick. Uh No, okay, you're not you're not sorry. You're you're not you're not sorry. Don't lie. Don't lie to people. You're not sorry, not one little bit. You fucking nerd. This is the skip next stream. Perfect. Skip next stream. All right. Love that. The stream a little bit there. Nope. You no no. You didn't take over anything. You didn't take over anything. Uh, listen. Not to be. Not to get on my high horse. 
Uh, but at the end of the day, this is my house, and we will do whatever I want in my house because this is my house. Not just physically, like this is actually my house, but the stream is my house. Um, so you've not interrupted anything. I specifically went into it. So you have nothing, you know, you have nothing to feel bad about. You've done nothing wrong. So you go take a break, go decompress a little bit, have a snack, have a snack, have something to drink and just rest. Just rest. That's what you deserve it. And you should do it. I had to remember for a minute that it's Wednesday. I thought for the briefest glimpse it was Thursday. It is not yet Thursday. Uh, okay. Let's go back to the page here. Const URL equals. Yep, next stream. What Viv said. What Viv said. A hundred percent that. Value e. Value e. Uh, there we go. Where are we at? Yep. If response dot okay. X. All right, let's see. Uh, da -doop, doop, doop. I'm here. Um, I don't, you know, I don't even, no, I'm not even gonna put a banner on that. Yep. That's good. This is currently a one or a zero which we're going to make a true or a false. All right, now we do const response equals await fetch the URL. And now we come down here if response.okay. Else. Okay. On status equals await await response dot JSON love it to 
too able, unable to get skip stream status. Beautiful. Okay. 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 All right. Let's build the updated plugin. I did add this down here. Yep. Okay. That's good. Actually, while the ad's running, I will be right back. I feel like I timed that really well. Did this actually build? I don't know if it built, but we're going to build it again just for funsies. Keep an eye on it. Okay. Add it. Beautiful. I did call that skip next stream, right? I did, okay. Beautiful, okay. I didn't like something there. I know what happened. That worked, but I did it wrong. I have to fix the page. Because I was doing it in Firebot. As a true false, or as a one zero, I need to do it as a true false because that's what I want. I want a true false. Um, 
God, this makes me want to play Wind Waker so much. I'm I love that fucking game. God damn good. I think Bean and I are going to Outback tonight, which I kinda need. Need I need an Outback night. And we have a gift card, which is just even better. Alright. That's done. Refresh the page. Go to the next stream. All right, so this should be set to true now. Yep. Set it. That's false. Beautiful. Now that that works, I need to go and update the logic in Firebot, which is oh no. No, don't want to duplicate that. All right, we're going to edit here. We're going to go say if... Fuck, what is it? Object walk path. And then I want... Skip next streak. Um, wait, I need to go get the one from the news bar loop, so I just, there we go, copy that, and path yep, next stream okay so that pulls the file and reads that object from the file so if that's true I need to do HTTP request four seventy two integrations under stream, skip next stream, methods of post. I'm going to call skip next stream false. All right, let's go see if this works. We set that to true. Let's run this here. That sets it to false. I like that. Oh, the Firebot's fucking calling itself. Uh, I don't care about the custom variable anymore. Skipping stream and resetting value. Okay. Now we're going to do something dangerous and stupid. Viv, you ever done anything dangerous and stupid? Viv loves Dangerous and Stupid. It's like his favorite. Okay. And now we love Dangerous and Stupid. Now we're going to save this. I'm going to have it do my thing to start streaming. But skip next stream, set to true, skipping stream and resetting value. That should be set to false now, and bam! Love it. Love it. 
Okay. That works. I'm very, very happy with that. So here's my stream configuration at this point. I have the title, the news bar with the default message and its duration, all the items and their individual, their durations. The UPIC list, which I don't have anything for now, doesn't matter. We're going to move the UPIC list to the bottom anyway. We have the promo image. Am I, do I want to nest that into promo image? I probably do, don't I? I probably do. I think I'll, I can do that under the hood. Then we'll go. Perfect. Okay. And then we're going to make that pro image dot show. Okay. Okay. Update skip stream status. Update the U pick list. All right, all right. This is good. This is really good. And the promo image path. I'll make that promo image dot path. Make this path. Oh, yep, that's what I want. Oh, wait. I'm going to call that just so it doesn't confuse it with path. We have one. All right, that's fine. Perfect. I like that. That's really good. Um, image path, image path. Yep. That's a text response. All right, let's do one more build. Done. There it goes. Yep. Save. All right, we know that's installed now and running. Beautiful. Love this. And she goes around. Beautiful. All right. Happy about that. Love, love, love that. Now, the next thing to do is refresh the page, go to promo image. Save that. That in my config file now. It is. It is indeed. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff right there. Eh, you know what, I don't care. I don't care that much. Pick 
this up here. Yeah. All right. We got the title. We got the news ball. We got the the promo image stuff. We got co-working stuff. We got skip next stream, and we got the you pick list. I think that's about it. Ranger, how you doing, buddy? I hope you're doing well, pal. It's good to see you. And now I have you. That's right. You're goddamn right I do. You're stuck here. There's no way you're getting out. I'm sorry. I changed the locks from the inside. Actually, I, Tom's brother-in-law did that once where he was working on the, the locks to the house and accidentally locked everyone inside the house, which was hilarious to me. All right, so this is good. I'm very happy with this. Um, do promo image path, promo image state. State, I'm gonna go work messages, couldn't update news bar, couldn't update stream title. All right, all right. I think we only need one there. All right. I think that's very, very happy. You're not locked in. Okay, just got done with the uh, interviews for the day. Blech. Oh, yeah, interviews are, whew, enshrouded. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Tom is, uh, Tom is the number one entrouded boy right now. He's enjoying it and he loves it. And uh, I'm I'm really thinking about playing it at some point. Um, thankfully, it's still early access, so I got plenty of time before it's actually released. But yeah, I'm yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, okay, this is all happy stuff. Uh, let's do one final build. This is my config.json. This is great. Is the news bar running? I'm not sure. It feels like a full game. Indie train for so long. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've heard a lot of people say, like, for an early access game, it feels very feature-rich and polished. And I'm, I know there's got to be stuff that's, you know, not great with it, but it's an early access game. Like, that's, you, that's the kind of thing you expect with that kind of thing, you know? Like, you know it's not going to be perfect. It just is what it is. All right, that new build is done. Let's go... Reload here. Uh, let's see. Loading custom routes. Admin loaded. Um, yeah. Then let's go refresh the admin page and see how it looks. Everybody happy? Looks like everybody's happy. Do I have a problem with Oh, I do. Turn that off. Yeah, I don't need that right now. I got the path in here. That's great. I got the co-working stuff in here. That's great. Trades on and off. Beautiful. Perfect game makes the experience more fun with quirky bugs. Yeah, that's true. 
The hypertube cannon? Yeah. Yeah, I love the hypertube cannon. I think it only killed me once. Maybe twice. I don't remember. But it was fun. When I got one working, oh, it was great. A little finicky, but that's to be expected with specific and voxel building aspects. I love that it's voxel building, though. Like, I love that it has free prefabs, but also you can go in and, like, completely fuck with the whole thing. I love that so much. I got you, babe. What, the low screen? Um, babe. I'm here. I think she's downstairs. I think she's probably, uh, I think uh, she's on the cat, probably on her perch, on her cat tree. I haven't seen her upstairs, though. She's probably doing important kittens cat stuff. It is, yeah, I think it's perch time. Yeah, it's about perch time. It's about perch o'clock. Uh, all right. This is great. I love the organization of this file. I love how well everything's working with this right now. Super, super, super happy with this. Um... I think this is version 1.1. I think this is, that's just the version, isn't it? Yeah. I think this is this is our version 1.1. Where's my package, Jason? I might go do that too. Will that work? I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. Oh. That works. I think Grappy has a question. This is not the best. You don't complete things together, you don't get some rewards. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's... That sucks. If this works, I'm going to be surprised. I'll be shocked if this works. All right, hold on. I don't. Karsis, how you doing, buddy? Learning some Java things? Java. Oh, oh, I don't like Java. I just don't like Java in general. I don't know. Um, I, mm, I just, mm. I don't know. Like fields and interfaces in Java. Mm, 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 mm. At, th at that point, like, just declare a const. 
Like, just declare a constant somewhere. Jesus Christ, that works. I'm in disbelief. to declare functionality. Well, interfaces are are meant to declare shape. Interfaces are meant to declare shape, how something is supposed to look. Right order, right? Love it when a plan comes together. I think that did that pull my version also. Yeah, it did pull the version. Oh boy. Wait. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh man. Yep, 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 yep. See, I updated all this stuff. Okay. Um Package Lock doesn't care about the description. Is added later on divide of the Java community. It, yeah, I just I don't know. Like if you're gonna put something like a field in an interface in Java that makes it Basically a constant anyway. Let's make a constant wherever you're going to use it. That's my opinion on it. I mean, everybody's got their own way. There's. That's just... Alright. Um... I'm committing and pushing this. Wow. Version 1.1 1 .1 of my admin tool is done and I I actually have stuff in here. Like I don't use custom variables in here anymore. I'm leaving this functionality in here in case I want to use this, but I don't need that anymore. I can run commands though, which is nice. Oh, I'm not running commands. I'm not running, com I'm not doing any of that shit anymore. Update, yeah, wow. I think the only thing I'm doing is doing preset lists. Uh, oh no, I am running cut. If I have this, why am I not using it? I don't understand. I don't understand.
Hi, Avil. What are you doing, you nerd? You're a nerd. Where's Where's my button? I got a button. Reverse. You're a nerd. Reverse. Avil, what you doing, buddy? Let me see something. Put the kiddos down for a nappy poo and finish animating an emote, maybe draw another. Ooh. Yeah, I was fighting uh I was fighting with some uh some JavaScript earlier, so I understand stuff not behaving the way you would expect it to. What's funny is it turned out that um I'm a dingus and was not just just not reading stuff, so fine. You know, as as it is, uh, man, there's a lot of code in here. There's, I have a lot of dead code in here. I don't really care though. Like how, how big does this file end up packing into? Like it's not that, that big. B5. You know, that might someday be useful as a dead code. Well, I mean, it's dead. It's still dead code. We just may revive it later for something. Besides, it's in history. I can delete it now if I want to. Where's my script? 57 kilobytes. <coughs> That's not bad. That's not bad at all. 57k to boil down into the script is not bad. I'm pretty happy with that. Ah, that's nice. Um, let's go. No, github.com slash underscore slash underscore firebot dash underscore dot admin. Yeah, this one's not public. I don't see why I couldn't make it public. It's just not currently public. Oh yeah, I never did update the README either. Eh, it's fine. I don't... It's not that big of a deal. I have it if I want to make it public. I don't have to, though. This is good. Like, I got the new menu in place. Um, none of none of the stream stuff depends on custom variables anymore. That's all that this all affects. Um, we don't need read me where we're going. Nice. Um, this is really good. I, I'm really happy with the way this has turned out. I do want to add some more stuff here. Like, I need some more live space stuff. There's nothing really to do other than, like, I don't know, pop out, like, the studio and the channel view and stuff like that, but they'll get there. I know they're working on some, um, uh, their third-party API. Reminds me, I still need to ping them about that. On my list. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, it's fine. It's not even. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so. New thing. Um, Uh, 
That's the coins. That's... Okay, that's all fine. Uh... Commit and push. Sweet. Please update faster. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Although I got to tell you, Dennis, I dream of a day where Windows can update the kernel in place like a lot of Linux distros can. That'll be really cool. I know most of them don't, but several of them will reload it on the fly. That's why I didn't say all, bud. Uh, all right. What's this? No hot loading into the kernel. I mean, if it's built, if it's designed to handle it. It's not much different than a BIOS bootstrapping and then loading the BIOS onto a secondary chip and reloading the BIOS. In the secondary chip, finish the update onto the primary BIOS chip. Make rib for dinner or make your own version at home. Ooh. Um, as delicious as it would be to have your own at home. Um, I am always going to be the one to say, get the McRib, like go pick up a McRib. I will always say, pick up a McRib. That's just what I'm going to do. I want to look, let me see, what do we have currently? Featured favorites. I know we're out of McRib season right now. Have anything good at ours? That double Big Mac is a thing now, and I really want to try that, because that's my, that was always my gripe with the Big Mac, is it's a fuck ton of bread, not a whole lot of meat, like the ratio's way off. Yeah, I think the double McRib is like the only special thing that we have right now. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. I'd have to go look. Anyway. A double McRib would be great. No, double... The big, big Mac Mac. Exactly. Exactly. Yogurt. Yogurt, how you doing? McGrib started there yesterday. Nice. Yeah. I hear they're making their rounds right now. Fucking love me of McRib. 
I mean, listen, Karsis, if you got the appetite for it, pal, poor K no los dos, do it. Fucking do it. Uh, hello. hello. Ooh, woo. Hi, Liz. How are you? All right, so I've never worked with an HTML canvas before. You can set an ID, you can set heights. All right. Oh, look at that. So you can literally just draw fucking shit in there. Look at the fuck at that. Throw yourself into the sun. Oh, yeah. Liz is currently experiencing first week of school. You get back to your learn, but you need a break. You gotta take a break. You gotta take a break. Can't work yourself too too hard. Okay. Drones will be scaled if you scale too too. No drawing can be used JavaScript to get ton text. Paths, text, color style, shadows, transforms, image. Draw image. Will this let me draw? Yeah, so it'll just like let me. Oh, that's beautiful. That's fucking lovely. I love that. Trying to learn WPF, MVVM, and data binding. Ooh, that's a good one. That's good stuff, yogurt. I really like that. Your second class day and a demon from your past was sitting at a desk. Oh, that's fun. That's great. All right, bud. Thankfully, most of my demons don't live here anymore. Or I don't live near them. Or whatever. What the hell? Holy shit. Oh my god, it just draws the video on it? Wow. Wow. But yeah, uh... MVVM and data binding in a WPF. Love it. Love it so much. Huh. See what this does. Uh, scaling transformations canvas units where I on the canvas is exactly one pixel scaling transform 
Let's use a point five pixel shapes are thus drawn at half the normal size. Similarly, a scaling factor of two dot increases the unit size. One unit becomes two pixels. Shapes are thus drawn at twice the normal size. Okay. Okay. Weird. Weird. Learn a code bundle on. Bundle bundles like three actual coding courses, ten game engine courses. Damn, Taxi. Learn wind forms to learn and stuck with the WPF. They're very different paradigms, yogurt, but wind forms still definitely has its place. I still I I still do have a really soft spot for wind forms. Oh, that's lovely, Liz. That's woof. I want to scale the actual canvas itself. Oh, that's not a bad i that's not a bad idea. So oh Oh, look at that. I like that. Dummy, you stop that. What are you doing, buddy? I love you. It's satellite to planet Earth. Here's hoping. All right, well, let's just, uh, listen. Let's just go and do some ridiculous bullshit. Um... I don't need the overlay stuff right now. We are gonna stay in the admin tool. And I think what I'm gonna do is... Uh, we'll go up here. That'll be admin page. I think I want to make this as a import. I think I'll make this as part of the admin tool. What the hell? Why not? Who's going to stop me? A new name to hide her sins? Uh, of course. Make your own MVM informs. The Twitch Live is your model. I had a class to handle Twitch Live events. Fired a new event that you I ingested. Nice. Nice yogurt. New file. Schedule. Generator.html. Right, maybe I'll just call this home. Why am I complicating shit? There we go. All right. All right, this is my new page. Hey.
Nah, that'll work. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, uh, style type equals text CSS. Because I'm just like that. Margin zero, padding zero. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm going to go, um, what do I want to call this? I want to call this like full canvas height. Position text uh, visibility hidden. I don't want to see the full canvas. What's going to happen is I'm going to draw on a full ass canvas, and then I'm going to have a preview canvas. <clears throat> The preview canvas will be um, let's go height of oh what could I do here I guess I could go like quarter height so 960 by uh, 540 No, those are those are the wrong dimensions. There we go. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, chicken with ranch stream in pure rage. There you go. Listen, absorb the chicken and ranch. Just feel the chicken and ranch in your soul. Actually, chicken and ranch sounds really good. I have some leftover rotisserie in the fridge and a big ass bottle of Hidden Valley Homestyle Ranch, which I might go fuck with as a snack here in just a few. Because that sounds delish. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a I think that's a solid plan. I'm I like it. I'm pleased with it. Okay. Uh I don't know. I might do this even further smaller. All right, let's see. No, oh, I guess that's uh what is that 760 68 pixels by 532. No, nope, that's 432. I can math. I can math. Tyson Chimkin patties? Mmm, I like those. I like those. Just make a nice little chicky sandwich out of them. Like, it's like making your own little Wendy's chicken sandwich at home, you know? Liz, Liz, those, but with the King's Hawaiian burger buns. Right? Right? Yeah. Yep. And then ranch, and then maybe like a slice of Swiss on there. Give it like a little bit of, a little bit of like bite to it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see? See? You get it. Right here, bud. Right here. All right. Uh, let's put this inside of a main. Uh, 
We'll H2 this schedule generator. Okay. Um, what else do I want on here? I do need come up here. Lovely, lovely, just lovely. We're gonna take this, toss this in here as well. Um, I like that. Don't care about nav. Nav's not really relevant here. Swiss, some peppercorn ranch, a little bacon. Mm hmm. It is nice, Carsis. It is nice. Um, my only thing is, like, I like being around like minded people, but I also like a little bit of variety now and then. Just because, you know, you never know what you're going to learn from somebody who thinks differently. That's something that I always try to teach my new developers when I used to run the, uh, the junior dev team um, several, several years ago. Um, was whenever you're in a meeting or whenever you're talking to someone, always be very, pay very close attention to what they say. Listen very carefully, especially when you're in a room full of people, like a meeting, because every single person in that room, every single one, doesn't matter who it is, but every single person in that room knows more than you about something, okay? You don't know what that something is. They don't necessarily know what that something is. But everybody else in that room knows more than you do about something, okay? For example, witchcraft. If I want to know things about witchcraft or tarot or anything like that, Liz is my person for that. Because I know she knows that stuff, right? I would never know like an ounce of what she knows on those kind of topics, okay? So I know that she's going to be the person to go to for that kind of stuff. Um, so just you never know what someone else does know. Um, so it's always interesting to, to just learn and absorb that stuff. Really fun. All right, schedule generator. Uh, copy path. Schedule generator. Ready to rock and roll. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so that's good. Nope, I, I don't like using named colors. I always like using hex values. I'm just weird like that. And, ooh, all right, that's good. Here in a grain mixer bowl. Into a home. See, I didn't know that. Liz knows this. I don't know. This is why we keep her around, because she knows all of this stuff. All right, let's go. Body. Main. I know we have this as a main div here. Where's main div? 
What are you? Oh. No, yeah, we'll take, I'll take that. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. What the hell? Oh, not there. I don't even need you now. Uh, here. Where's that main div? Main div! There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, display flex. Flex direction column. I don't even. I don't know whether it's align items or. I don't remember. Collective verbs and old pennies to yours. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> Basil and cinnamon. I discard it regularly. Yeah. Um. Okay. Cool. Let's see what this looks like in paint. Oh, there's, wow, okay. All right, let's do, we're gonna add a button here. We're gonna go, if, what's the, the way I have this set up down here? Uh, field list, all right. Let's do a field list. Uh, yeah, we're gonna add field lists here. Field list. Button. Uh, title equals Fresh pre preview uh, icon equals iconified dash icon. Perfect. The only real way to discard is with running water. Hmm, that makes sense. Uh, let's go find it. Let's go find an icon. MDI. Yeah. Love MDI. By the way, um, if you're using, um, if you need icons, material design icons is a beautiful and really, really robust library full of stuff. Uh, it's was started in, uh, by my buddy Austin. And he maintains a lot of it. There's a big community around it now. But this is just...
It's it's really really good. <clears throat> You're using this in your current project. Nice Vi. Nice. Yeah, this is. It's really really good. Ooh, there's an image refresh. Yeah, I'm gonna use that one. Uh, okay, we're just gonna go. MDI image refresh. Okay, now let's go to page and sweet. Um, I guess I can make that an H1. There's no reason not to. Yeah, what the hell? Why not? Whatever. Do I want this to be a narrow button? I can make this a narrow button. Yeah, that's fine. Sweet. Okay. Now let's add some Java scripts. Some scripts that are Java's, as it would turn out. Yeah, we'll just put it here. Uh, function refresh preview. Um, function generate schedule graphic graphic. All right, sweet. Library with most of them for plugging into power apps. Oh, really? You can you you can use the MDI stuff in power apps? Oh I need to do more shit with power apps, honestly. Uh my buddy Greg works on it. Actually I think Yeah. Yeah, Greg and yeah. But anyway, my buddy Greg works on power apps. He loves it. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what I can do. Um, where's... Let's go back and reopen the stuff that I had closed. Yep. Draw, let's draw a rectangle. I want to... I wanna, I want a rectangle. Ooh, we got a tutorial. Ooh. Drawing shapes. I fucking love shapes. Learn from the presentation on Canvas Element 100. Why the 100? Hi. Okay, yeah. Zero, zero is top left. I like that. Bill wrecked. Ooh. Hell yeah, let's go. Let's fucking go. All right. <clears throat> canvas equals document dot git. Element by ID. Yeah, okay. I want the full canvas. Full canvas. Bounce. 
context equals canvas dot get is it get context two d yeah yeah baby we're gonna do it all right context dot fill style equals I wonder if that works. And then we go fill, fill rect, start at zero, zero. And then I want one that's, is it width and height? And yeah, I want 3840 by 320, I think is what I normally do. And then we'll do another one at, um, Was it 2160 minus the 320 is what 1840? Yeah, that's that seems correct. Oh, no, zero 1840. Got it, got it. There we go. Look at me, I'm learning. Now we go generate schedule graphic. Then I go. Preview canvas. Ooh. I need to put a black background first. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put that and then fill the rectangle in the whole thing with the black background, then put the white bars on top and bottom because that's the way it used to be. And that's the design I still wanna go with because I'm kind of attached to it. Now, okay, I put image data. the given image data object onto the canvas. Shut up, really? Yeah, place the destination. Horizontal position of the top left corner from which the image data is extracted defaults to zero. And it'll be painted. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. The scaling transformation of the canvas units horizontally and/or vertically. One pixels. Oh yeah. Okay. Const uh, context equals canvas dot get context two D. Then get the. Then I can do context dot scale. Um, point two and point two. <clears throat> mm hmm. And then I can go. Um. No. God's sake. All right. Pull. I'll get this one day. One day. All right. Now we're gonna go start 
put image data. And then I'm going to do full canvas context dot get image data. I'm going to go 0, 0, 38, 40, 21, 60. And then 0, 0. Right? Yes. Okay. And then we'll do here on click will be refresh preview. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the canvas context for it. All of my drawings going to be up here. The refreshing the preview should really only just be this. That did not work the way I expected it to. Pixel scale value of 0.5 pixels. Shapes are thus drawn at half normal size. Okay. Where was the thing that I saw where they used an intermediate canvas? Not this one. Scale image. Oh, do I want to, is that what I want? I want draw image. I guess that. Here's the image. Oh, oh. Let's, let's just see how that goes now. That doesn't work at all. I'm gonna type image or canvas element. Oh, oh, oh. I can just do that. No, that's silly. That's, you know, it's not as silly as I thought. Oh, right, I have to just create, yeah, right. So I come in here and go function download. Um, I want full canvas, full canvas. Download. 
Download. Download. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, right. I have to generate it first. Of course. Silly me. Yep. Okay. That's not what I had in mind, but not. We're getting there. We're getting there little by little. Getting there. <clears throat> and our customer decided to ask for the moon after he located a single data error in the software system we oversee. Hmm. 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 That sucks to be them, I guess. Oh, paint's asking. No, no, I don't want you to say thank you. All right. I think I'm actually really good with this now. All right. Um... Let's just, let's, let's go and, yeah. Measure text? Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's really cool. That's actually really cool.
Okay. Better text. Uh, see. We're going to do and 20 minus x width yeah 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 Okay. Are you asking if I'm still watching? I am. Thank you. I guess I don't need the second set of parentheses. Um, we're gonna go. See that's three twenty, so one sixty minus that height over two. That's a three twenty at the top. Yeah, I'm I'm good with that. All right, that works. I mean, I don't know that it works, but. You know, that sounds good. Oh, that didn't work. Mm -mm. No, that did not work, in fact. Oh. Okay. Do I have to set the actual height and width of the canvas? Like this, like old school? I, let's, I guess so. That did I do five? Where are those canvases? Eight four thirty two. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't have to do that scale, though, do I? Because I'm doing it there. Hey, that's stuff. Those are things. Those are absolutely things.
Hmm. Yeah, 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 this is good. Okay. The X and the Y. Yeah, I like that. How does the font work, though? It's a CSS font property. Okay, that's fine. But if I open this now... That's... Listen, that's fucking progress. That's progress. I like that. Um, hey buddy, how are you? How are you after fucking last night, pal? Am I spelling it right? Yeah, that's the way it's supposed to be spelled, right? Of the moment, that's all you care about. There you go. There you go. <sighs> Excuse me. Let's try it with a different font. Just, just for funsies. Just for funsies. Okay, so it's not the font that's... It's not the font, which is good. I don't need any of that stuff. This is what I really care about now, is the font. I don't know, so I just spent the... Well, apparently she got a little emotional. Yeah, she's she's got a lot going on. She's got a lot going on. I mean, you both do. So. All right, let's see. It's like I, Louis, like I told her and like I've told you before, buddy, we take care of our own. That's what we do. That's what we do.
No, I want this down here. Let's try something. Go let context equal get context 2D. Okay, that's our context. In progress, and that's what matters. That's what matters. Yep, absolutely, 100%. Okay, that's still... Width. Oh, there's no height. Oh, there's no fucking height on this. Ooh. <clears throat> oh ho. Oh boy. I'm all right. I'm uh, just getting some stuff done, but it's it's working out. And... <gasps> Hi, Wisty. Love you, Wisty. I was thinking about you earlier, Wisty, because I still owe you stuff. It's on my list. Text baseline. Oh, you can do it inside of a path? Oh. Oh, look at that. Look the heck at that. Huh. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I feel like I'm accomplishing some stuff today, which is nice. Or is it? It's closed path. Next baseline. Hmm. 
Mm. Okay, that doesn't help anything. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna be wrapping up here in a few minutes. Um I started a little earlier today though. Um a little before my normal lunch time, but I ate lunch early, so but I wanted to get through some of this and get some of this rolling. Oh, it doesn't like that at all. Oh, hey, that actually kind of works. I mean, the font's wrong. I don't like that the font's wrong, but, <clears throat> you know, we'll get there when we get there. Did I not import the font? Yeah, I got the font there. Font's there. <clears throat> I know, bud. I'm I'm glad you're here. I'm you gotta take some rest. You gotta relax. You've had a what you might call a week. We have it, it's there. Let's try and see what happens when I add a bold weight to it. Oh, I didn't specify, it needs the weight and it didn't like the default one, that's fine. All right, let's go. That's fantastic. You know, I could just open fucking Photoshop and see what it is in there. In the original template. And <clears throat> Let's see, let's open a file that I haven't looked at in a very long time. And that is my schedule template. I hear a kitten's cat. My kitten's cat.
No, I don't want to update these. Oh, yeah. Oof. Oof. Is that really? That's not the last time I've used the schedule, is it? That very well could be the last time. I, I use the schedule and that's... Yikes. Ah, baby loaf. You coming to tell bears on this? Oh. oh, she's so sneepy. What a sneepy kitty. Oh, bless you. Come on, Photoshop. Oh, can't use the type tool because the layer's locked. I see. Okay, well, then we'll just use it down here. Two forty point. Well, that's not two forty pixel, though. I, mean, I guess, but it's damn close. I have to l drop this some artificially. Yeah, I think that's gonna have to be. I don't need the dimensions anymore. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Input. Hello, Ever. I love you. How are you? I think that'll be fine. Let's see. Text. Footer text equals document. Get element by ID dot value. Now we're going to do this all over again. We're going to do footer text. And we're going to do it at the bottom. Let's see, 2160 minus 320 is... 1840 plus 180 is, was that 2020? Something like that, and I'm doing all right. Just, uh, How did I do it last time? It was just, yeah, it's just the number. What's Sunday? And it's the fourth. Look at me knowing dates and times and shit. Ooh. Ooh. Like that. But you know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do? We're going to uppercase it and see what it looks like for old times sake. That's not bad. You have a question? Go for it. Like, that's pretty sharp.
That's full... Yeah, that's full 4K. I'm happy about that. I like that. Let's have the... There's a fruit of something that carries its own seed, right? Um... Yeah, I guess so. Our testicles fruit. Yes, that's why. That's why um, the penis and testicles are typically referred to as a twig and berries. And berries are known to be fruit. There you go. Hope this helps. What happens if I try to paste this in paint? Yeah, it pastes the preview. It copies the fucking preview, like... Fucking nice. No, no, you're very welcome, Ever. Glad to help. Glad to be of service. Whatever that service may actually be. Um, oh, there's my info pane. It's on the other screen. Six forty five four eighty. I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. Now let's draw a rectangle with a, s a specific stroke. Right. And then what I want to do is close some of this off right now. Draw a. Go here. Rectangles. How's the stroke work? Line width and stroke style. Perfect. Absolutely spectacular. Okay. So now we go... Um... What did I do? Oops. Perfect. Absolutely spectacular. Okay. Now I want... No, absolutely. Go get some rest, Louie. I'm I'm heading out of here in about probably about four minutes myself. I just want to see if I can get some of these boxes going. Um, I love you, bud. <clears throat> so let's go. Line width is. I'm gonna go white. We're gonna go Why 
the hell are the... Oh, shit. I see. Okay. We here. 11. I'm going to call that 1160. So that's 420 by 420. Is that? No, I did not do that. I did not. That's kind of hilarious, and I'm into it. Bring this over just a smidge, see where I am. All right, so that's a, that's a 10 pixel. Thirteen twenty by four eighty. That sounds about right. Two thousand. Oh, two thousand goes here. That's 680, that's 680, so this will be 680. Oh, it's, I think it's 520. I think they're 520. That number sounds more correct to me now. On further reflection. That looks more correct. All right, 980 by 1160. Nine eighty eleven sixty. And then we do the same thing where we add six eighty to this, so this will be sixteen sixty. Oh you hear that bean? Oh, there's the bean. Loaf came in here, she was under the desk, and then she heard a bean. No, bean got home a couple minutes early. All right, I'm going to do this. 680, 680. Uh, that's not correct. Man, I, I will learn how to do this one day. Oh my god, I made my schedule. Hey, Bean, look at this. Remember my, uh, my schedule thing that I used to make? Yeah, remember when I used to make a schedule? And it was a, such a pain in the ass to do this because I had to do a bunch of manual shit and... I'm making it easier, yeah. Yep. Alright, let's wrap it up. I think that's gonna do it. Oh. Sure. Okay. Oh.
How long does it take? 10 minutes? 15 minutes? Okay. Cool. About 4.45 is when I'll cut off. Cool. Okay. All right. I'm going to do this. Um... <clears throat> Now we're gonna come down here. We've done this. Now we're gonna set our sexual baseline is, I think that's, I think that's, yeah. Uh, I guess I can just do top, yeah. All right. Then I can do and we'll go six sixty and five hundred so that I have a little bit of breather on each side of that, right? I think that's that's pretty close. Yeah, that's I'm good with calling it that. Go. Uh-huh. Come up here. The hell is the... Stripes, but where's the day of the week? Why do I feel like I have layers that are just missing here? Oh my god, they're individual fucking tiles, aren't they? Oh yeah, I used to make the tiles fucking individually. Yep, there's the tile. Fuck. No, I don't care about that right now. What I do care about is the font here. Oh, no, 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 no. That's 96. All right. We'll do 96 and see how it turns out. I mean, it can't be terrible, right? Oh, that's, I got to change my fill style. All right, refresh, generate. Holy shit. This is great.
All right, all right. We got Monday. We got Tuesday. We got Wednesday. We got Thursday. We got Friday. We got Saturday. And we got Sunday. Now let's go back and put them where they belong. All right. 1340 by 500 or 2020 and then 2700 nope nope now we have 1000 Fritz thanks for the lurk buddy I'm wrapping up here in a second Sixteen eighty by eleven eighty and twenty three sixty by eleven eighty. Oh my god. Why didn't I start doing this thirty fucking years ago? How far across does the Wednesday get? Eh, it's a little way over the middle, but not much. Saturday's pretty close. Wow. This is incredible. I'm just pleased as punch. Pleased as punch. Now let's go put in some other default stuff. Um, oh, I'm going to have to do some. All right, now let's come over here and do context.text align equals right. And we'll go context.fill text no stream. <clears throat> now I have to actually math stuff out. And 640 plus 520 minus 20 is 1140. actually really close oh wait that's a different size uh, that's 72, okay. Seventy-two. Uh huh. Uh huh. You can go here and here. And here, and here, here, and here. All right, so this is going to be, we're going to. That's fine. We're going to go Monday.
Tuesday. No, you don't have. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. And Sunday. All right. Wow, that's not bad. <sighs> Seven PM to ten. PM. Wait, it looked on the old one. 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Nice gadget. Nice. <clears throat> All right. Um, That really seven seems weird. Oh, that's six eighty. Okay, this could be six eighty. So that's nineteen twenty. Twenty five hundred. Seven PM to ten PM. Twenty five hundred. We we'll add six eighty to that, so that's thirty one eighty. That's the Thursday one. That's not bad, but I can. I think I can drop it all a little bit and. Drop it all by 20 pixels. Oh yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh... I'm gonna decide if I like that. I think I can be okay with it. No, I'm not. Immediately, no. Immediately, no. All right, we're going to finish up Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, uh, that, that's a difference of six. That's a 680 difference. So I need eighteen seventy, and that's a difference of four eighty. End up being four eighty. Okay, that's fourteen eighty. This Friday is no stream. I love that I'm building a tool for this. Honestly, like. Sixty. Uh, twenty-eight forty. Seventy. 
That is way too far down. What did I do wrong here? Oh, I forgot how to count. That's 490. You ever forget how to count? I did that once. There we go. That's uh that's pretty good. That's a really good template to work from. That's not bad. I really like that. Count the number of times you forgot how to count. Shh, shh, don't tell anybody, Gadget. That's my secret. <clears throat> All right, um, we're done. We've this is this is a great jumping off point. Um, we have just a color picker. Yeah, yeah, HTML5 just has a fucking color picker. <laughs> I love that for me. All right. Um this is great. I'm already thrilled with how easy this has turned out. Um Yep. Okay. We're uh That's it. We're done here. So, uh thank y'all for hanging out. Uh, today was great. I got a lot accomplished, I feel like. Um, like, the admin tool is in a fantastic place right now, and I'm really happy with, like, everything that's that's going on with it. Um, I love the new setup. The schedule generator, <clears throat> this is going to be a huge thing for me. This is going to be an absolutely huge, huge thing for me. So I'm really, really, really just... Very chuffed about this. Quite chuffed indeed. All right, uh, I will be back tomorrow night. Um, I might finish this tomorrow. I might work on it some in the meantime. I don't know yet, but definitely be back tomorrow night <clears throat> uh, working on this. I wanna try to get this done. I may be able to do that tomorrow night at the rate that I'm going. I just have to figure out all the things that I wanna do. So we'll, we'll get there when we get there. Anyway, let's figure out who we're going to go hang out with. Um, as always, live space folks, I appreciate you hanging out. Twitch folks, we are going to raid somebody. Uh, let's go see who's live. Who is live? Um, Avi's live. I haven't seen her in a while. Chef reactions. Uh... Oh, Ian's doing stuff. What's he doing? Oh, he's doing Django stuff. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, okay. Um, man, there are so many people streamings right now. Uh, when's the last time I went to go raid? Let me see something. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's been a while since we've gone to go see the old man. Let's go see the old man. <clears throat> We're gonna go see the old man, Sethus. Go, uh, go give him a hearty dose of shit. He deserves it. Every last bit of it. There are the raid messages. Um, and yeah, he's just, uh, he's doing his hanging out stuff right now. So, uh, we're gonna go see him and say hello spread some love all that fun stuff uh thank you all again for hanging out i really really appreciate it i will see you tomorrow uh for more of working on this which i'm very very just very excited about um but until then as always please remember be good to yourselves be good to each other and uh i will see you uh i'll see you tomorrow evening bye Wait, where's my... I, have, I don't have a button for that yet. Uh, okay, bye!